Now, you are studying conflict, okay? Now, like, I, like we said, it's something I think we as Africans need to talk about because uh, there are some major conflicts on our continent. Uh, and as long as we are not, I, I see, let me not assume, okay? The guys in power, uh, I, I, let's say they are doing their, 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 their duty, studying these things, talking about these things. But uh, the results of their studying or talking, we don't see. Hmm. Okay, because hey, look at Sudan. Uh, what is going on? Uh, the conflict brewing between Egypt and uh, Ethiopia is there. Nobody is talking about it. Okay, and there are so many other intra country conflicts. Okay, see, for me, I think one of the main reason why we are we having we having those so many different conflicts is because of our diversity okay we are so diverse in uh language culture that unfortunately in the past in the past uh this kind of diverse peoples are integrated through wars in the old days. Thank God uh, we now have countries, okay, although we still are still diverse and I don't want and I don't think we'll have so many wars to integrate us. But we need to be conscious of our differences and and be and consciously decide to understand ourselves and to work together. Now, do you think we are doing a good job of that? Well, it certainly it doesn't seem that way a lot of the time. Um, as you say, I mean, I would agree with you that a lot of the conflicts within the continent are they have identity and difference at the at the base of all of that and it it really doesn't seem as if the governments are doing a good job of trying to dialogue you know i, I think intercultural dialogue is a very crucial part of international relations and you would expect you know that they would definitely be engaging in that which they do to some degree but when you see the frequency with which a lot of these conflicts spring up, especially you don't even need to go, you know, internationally, just within certain countries yeah. in the continent, a lot of civil wars and unrest, it's all because of, you know, tribalism, differences in religion, amongst people that are supposed to be citizens. Mm. You know, um, some will, you know, bring up the role that colonialism played in that by, you know, just meshing all these different groups of people together and saying okay you are all one country you have yeah. to go along and definitely that has played a role yes a lot of tribes or groups that you could say had no business really like <laughs> interacting so to speak have been forced to do that and you know you wonder in the absence if colonialism had not they happened okay what would happen? <laughs> <laughs> see see that is something that many people never ask themselves, if this didn't happen, mm. what will we be doing right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a, it's, a, it's a tricky question. I don't think we have the answers to because okay. we, you know, we're only speaking- But, but we, need to explore, we need to explore mm. them to mm. see, to ask to ourselves, are we in a better place to start dialoguing mm. to ensure that our differences doesn't lead to physical conflict yeah because yeah. because we, ha we have the opportunity mm. we can decide okay we are here we are together okay if we're not merged by the corona powers 
what would it be what would we be doing right now mm-hmm. and if you look at it throughout history what tribal groups do is fight mm. okay there are very few tribal different tribal groups that integrate themselves through lobby dobby <laughs> action no the fight mm. the stronger one would dominate the 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 smaller one the less able ones yeah. and if you take hundreds of years of subjugation be- before they come now become a a, a, a group mm-hmm. and then they go ahead they go ahead to fight other groups mm-hmm. and that's what that's what happens mm-hmm. human nature <laughs> yeah that's that's what we have done for thousands of years mm-hmm. okay see it pains me that many of us do not think about all this mm. you know it it pays me and and uh, and and i'm sure when our conversation is posted someone who listens to it will tell me they give, give me excuses why we should not talk about it and as long as we don't talk about all, all those things and dissect it will continue fighting ourselves and wasting our time yeah i, I would agree I, i definitely would agree it's something to not only from a history of you know the perspective of knowing your history yeah um i think it's also important to understand the role history plays a role even in policy yeah. whatever policies you want to make it's always important to understand the historical background so mm. you can sort of see the trajectory of things and it it can definitely inform the decisions you make if you want to improve a situation yeah i mean imagine i mean take nigeria for example a lot of tension in the country now you could say you could trace to tensions from the civil war mhm if you want to and make be, and be before then yeah exactly exactly so it it would almost be foolish not to take those sorts of defining events into consideration when you're trying to move on yeah. if that makes sense yeah. you, you can so in the same way this colonialism uh, conversation it's definitely important to keep that at the back of your mind mm-hmm. yes there's the aspect of oh you, some people will say oh how much, how long do you want to dwell on this topic you know you should move on i've heard different sorts of views yeah But yeah it's good it's always good to have that information at the back of your mind to really understand how the world has the events have played out over the years because africa is where we are for certain reasons not just colonialism but colonialism has played a role and it would be foolish to ignore that yeah 